Welcome to Moomoo Math. Today I'm doing video three for statistics for experimental design. The first two videos um, covered measures of central tendency um, and variation. That was the first one. The variation that I talked about was very simply the range. And then I had a second video. I have a second video on standard deviation using your graphing calculator. So this is the third one. And we're just going to talk about how to make a frequency table. So here is our data for dropping a tennis ball from four different heights and doing four trials to see how high they bounce. So we're going to take this data and just make a frequency table. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to concentrate on the row that's got 10, had bounced from a height of 10 centimeters. So we need to list all the different values that occurred. Well, one, the smallest height was 1.2, so I'm going to list that first. 1.2 was my smallest height. My next smallest height was 1.3, and then my highest bounce was 1.4. Now, I'm, over here on the right, I'm going to make a frequency of the bounces. So this is my frequency number over here. Well, how many times did 1.2 occur? That just occurred once. How many times did 1.3 occur? It occurred twice. So I'm doing it as if it's a tally. So I'm going to get two marks there. And then my 1.4 only occurred once. So these are tally marks. So if you have let's say 50 trials, you can just make tallies where you go one, two, three, four, and on the fifth one you make a group. Okay, for our purposes we're just looking at four trials, so it's pretty easy. So let's make a little bar here so we can actually put the numbers. So this is one, this one's two, and this is one. So here are my tally marks, but then here are my total in numbers. Okay, let's do the same thing for 20. Okay, 20, we have five, 3.1, 3.2, and 3.1. Well, what's the smallest? 3.1, that's our height. Our next greatest one is 3.2, and then 5. So let's make our tally marks. We have uh, 1 at 5. The next one is 3.1. The next one is 3.2, and the next one is 3.1. So there are tally marks. Now let's total them up. 2, 1, 1. So there we go, there's our tally mark, and there's the total for our frequency table. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing for 30. Okay, 30, if you can see it right, I'm gonna keep it on the screen for you. Uh, five, five is my smallest, then 5.2, and then 5.5. So I'm gonna go down here and do five, 5.2, and 5.5. And tallying it up, I have a one, I have a one, and then I have a two. So it's going to be 1, 1, 2 as my totals. And you can do the last one. I just, you can't look at both on the screen. But that's how you tally up using a tally table. Hope this video was helpful.